In today's video, we're going to be diving into a bunch of geonode based add ons for vegetation in Blender, all focused on making natural environments faster, easier, and way more fun to create. From forests you can grow with a few clicks, to animated grass, blooming flowers, vines, and more. And I think each tool in this list can bring something to your workflow without weighing you down. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with Lazy Forest version 2, which has been upgraded with better controls and more creative options. Right away, you'll notice the new weight interface, which makes painting distribution areas way easier. Just click the red circle and paint, no setup or guessing required. Also there is an auto setting button to fix cycles annoying black transparency glitches. Now what really makes this version shine is how flexible it has become. You can now paint effects like snow, ponds, fog, and particles, which I think adds life and variation, without having to use extra geometry. Additionally, the preset library has grown, giving you faster access to clean and more responsive setups. Also, scattering trees, isolating grass, tweaking scale, and randomness can all be done in a shorter period of time. And of course, everything can work in real time. The next add-on we're going to talk about is called Stylized Animated Grass. This one is a drag and paint asset library mode for those vibrant and hand painted scenes. And it helps you get that soft, painterly look, which is great for anything from fantasy worlds to Ghibli style animated environments. And even though it looks complex, it is actually super easy to control. Things like wind strength, direction, and speed can be all adjustable right from the panel, so you won't have to open any nodes or mess with modifiers. And what really stands out is how quickly you can block out entire environments. There is no prep, no shadow headaches, and no Juno's knowledge required. Just drop it in and start painting to have your animated grass and stylized vegetation. Another interesting one is called Naturescapes, which is a landscape generator built entirely with geometry nodes. And it gives you full control over shaping environments in a short period of time. You start with a basic plane, and from there, you can create cliffs, slopes, and erosion in a short period of time. And it can all build itself procedurally as you go. What makes it interesting to use is how clean and intuitive the stack is. Everything is laid out with simple sliders to help you control detail, smoothness, fall off, scale, and so on. So instead of wrestling with nodes, you're just dialing things until you find something that looks right. And generally speaking, I think it is fast and helps you get what you want in a short period of time. Next, we're going to talk about Trees Library, which is exactly what it sounds like. A collection of stylized animated trees, built to drop right into your scene. What makes them stand out, though, is that they are not static. The leaves come to life with built-in wind animation that kicks in the moment you hit play. And there is no setup here. You just drag the tree in and it starts swaying. Everything loops cleanly, runs smoothly in both Cycles and EV, and the assets are optimized to keep your viewport fast and responsive. The good thing is, you've got a wide range of tree types that you can pick from, and they all share the same stylized look, which means you can mix them together without anything clashing. Another interesting add-on is called Flora Paint, which is actually a stylized vegetation pack that gives you animated trees bushes and flowers that you can use on the go and they are fully paintable and the fun part is instead of placing assets one by one you literally paint plants and vegetation right onto your mesh like you are brushing them into the scene it is fast intuitive and it makes the task of building dense complex environments look like something simple using only a couple of brushes and what makes it even better every asset comes with built-in wind animation too so the second you press play the whole scene starts moving and kind of breathing naturally. In addition, as you might expect, they are optimized for both Cycles and EV. They stay light in the viewport, which makes them a solid choice for those bigger projects. Generally speaking, the variety is solid, and the assets and the art ties together, so you can layer forests, gardens, or ruins without anything feeling out of place. Speaking of forests, now let's talk about Forest Generator. You will need this if you want to fill your scenes with dense, large forests, and the setup is that simple. You add a surface, click Generate, 
and instantly get a randomized forest that already looks great out of the box. And of course, it works with geometry nodes behind the scenes, but you never have to touch any of that complicated stuff. What makes Forest Generator super handy is its smart scattering system. So it doesn't just throw trees around randomly, it places them with spacing, scale variation, and a natural feel that doesn't need tweaking, unless you want to do that. And generally speaking, you've got control over density, randomness, size, range, and even with animation for the leaves. Now, if you want something a bit more delicate and charming, you have blooming flowers, which brings a beautiful pack of curve-based flowering plants that you can actually animate, because they actually bloom open right into your timeline. This one brings a beautiful pack, and it's all done using geometry nodes, but the interface keeps things super simple for anyone to use and modify. You just drop a flower, choose a curve for it to follow, and boom, it animates along the path, blooming as it goes. The flowers themselves are stylized and clean looking, which makes them perfect for anything from slow motion shots to production renders. And what's really nice is how customizable everything is. You can tweak the size, growth speed, spread, and even randomness in the bloom animation to get the right organic feel. From the same developer, we have Growing Fruits, which brings a little more color and charm to balance out your greenery. This is actually a nice addition to any stylized scene, because it gives you a full library of animated fruits that literally grow over time, right in your viewport. You just drop them in your project, and thanks to the built-in geometry node setup, they sprout from tiny buds into full, vibrant fruit with a natural animation that looks really amazing. From pumpkins to apples, in addition to bananas and fantasy-style plants, everything animates automatically, and from what I can see, it works just fine. And they actually come with a set of simple controls for growth timing, random scale, and scattering density, so your scenes can feel organic without micromanaging every tiny detail. The next one is called Stylized Tree Asset Generator, which lets you create custom trees from scratch, and it gives you stylized art direction, or the ability to do so, to help you create fantasy worlds, cartoons, or hand-painted scenes. Using geometry nodes, which gives you the power to do things not destructively, you will get full control over height, trunk shape, branch flow, canopy size, leaf randomness, and even wind animation, all within the modifier stack. So if you want quick results, the included presets are solid, but if you like fine-tuning every detail, the tool gives you the freedom to push things as far as you want. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about Vine Generator. This one is great for adding that final touch for organic details of your environment. So whether you're building a temple swallowed by nature, a crumbling wall, or even a fantasy treehouse, vines can do a lot more to sell the mood. Built entirely with geometry nodes, this animal lets you draw vines procedurally using curves, so placement feels fluid and responsive, and you will get full control over their length, twist, thickness, branching, and how they cling to services. In addition, everything updates in real time, so you can keep sculpting till you will get the look that you are satisfied with. And as you might expect, because it is procedural, nothing is baked. You can tweak things as much as you want without starting over. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in these geometry node and procedural annals, you will find all the links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.